What's up, investing iguanas? Iggy here with another juicy financial story that's sure to pique your interest. Today, we're diving into DBS Bank's bold plan to boost its wealth management assets to a staggering $500 billion by 2026. That's a massive target, and you might be wondering, is it too ambitious? In this video, I'll break down the details of DBS's ambitious goal, explore the factors driving Singapore's wealth management boom, and give you my take on whether the bank can actually pull it off. Get ready for some insightful analysis and a healthy dose of my signature wit. DBS is not just any bank, it holds the title of being the largest bank in Southeast Asia when measured by assets. This stature gives it a significant role in the region's economy and a substantial influence on the financial market. Now, DBS has set its sights on an ambitious goal. The bank plans to expand its wealth business, aiming to manage assets worth a whopping 500 billion Singapore dollars by the end of 2026. To put that into perspective, that's half a trillion Singapore dollars, a figure that is as staggering as it sounds. This target is indeed a lofty one, but it's important to note that DBS appears to be quite confident about reaching it. The bank has likely set this goal after careful consideration and thorough analysis of its growth potential and market trends. However, like any other business, DBS's journey towards this goal is not without potential hurdles. The term black swan events refer to unpredictable events that go beyond what is typically expected and have potentially severe consequences. DBS's achievement of its asset management goal could be hindered by such unforeseen events. However, barring any such significant disruptions, DBS seems to be on a steady path towards achieving its target. This ambitious goal reflects the bank's commitment to growth and its proactive approach to seizing market opportunities. It will be interesting to see how DBS's strategy unfolds in the coming years and whether it will reach the 500 billion Singapore dollar mark by 2026. This is a story that anyone interested in finance or banking will want to keep an eye on. It's a testament to DBS's ambition and a reflection of the dynamic nature of the banking and finance industry. DBS's optimism about its wealth management prospects is deeply rooted in the unique advantages that Singapore offers as a wealth management hub. Singapore, a city-state known for its robust economy and political stability, has been a magnet for wealth inflows from across Asia. Its low tax rates and favorable policies for establishing family offices and trusts make it an attractive destination for wealth management. Family offices play a crucial role in this context. They are comprehensive entities dedicated to managing the portfolios of ultra-high net worth individuals and families. These offices provide a range of services, including investment management, estate planning, and even charitable giving. DBS has successfully tapped into this market, banking more than a third of Singapore's family offices. The growth trajectory of family offices in Singapore has been impressive. The numbers have seen a significant increase, rising from approximately 1,100 in 2022 to around 1,400 in the following year. This rapid growth indicates a growing demand for wealth management services, and DBS, with its strong presence in the sector, is well positioned to capitalize on this trend. In essence, DBS's bullish outlook on its wealth management business is a reflection of Singapore's growing prominence as a wealth management hub and the bank's strategic initiatives to leverage this opportunity. As the number of family offices and the amount of wealth flowing into Singapore continue to increase, DBS's wealth management business could see substantial growth in the coming years. DBS's strategy for growth extends beyond just family offices. The bank has set another ambitious target to double the number of its wealthy clients who have assets worth at least 1 million Singapore dollars by the end of 2026. This goal reflects DBS's commitment to expanding its reach in the wealth management sector and catering to a broader range of clients. DBS's confidence in achieving this target is not unfounded. Over the last two years, the bank has already seen a significant increase in its affluent and high net worth client base, with a growth rate of more than 50%. This trend indicates a rising demand for DBS's wealth management services among wealthier clients, further strengthening the bank's position in the market. But what's driving this surge in wealth in Asia? The answer lies in the broader economic trends in the region. According to the World Wealth Report 2024 by the Capgemini Research Institute, there has been a notable increase in the wealth and population of high net worth individuals globally. In 2023, these figures rose by 4.7% and 5.1%, respectively, reversing the decline seen in 2022. 
This growth in wealth is likely driven by a combination of factors, including economic growth, investment opportunities, and favorable financial policies in various countries. As Asia continues to experience economic development and wealth accumulation, banks like DBS are well positioned to benefit from these trends. The report's findings reveal an interesting shift in the financial behavior of the wealthy. It appears that their risk appetite, or willingness to make more speculative investments, has improved significantly. This change is evident in the decline of cash holdings as a percentage of total portfolio assets. In January 2024, cash holdings accounted for 25% of portfolio totals, a noticeable decrease from the multi-decade highs of 34% recorded in the same month a year ago. This shift suggests that high net worth individuals are becoming more comfortable with investing their wealth rather than keeping it in cash. They are likely seeing more opportunities in the market and are willing to take on more risk for potentially higher returns. This trend is a positive sign for the financial market as it indicates increased activity and investment. With wealth on the rise and risk appetite improving, it's not surprising that wealth management has emerged as one of the main revenue drivers for banks in Singapore. Wealth management involves offering specialized financial services to wealthy individuals, including investment advice, tax planning, and estate planning. As the wealth of individuals increases, so does the demand for these services. DBS, being one of the leading banks in Singapore, is well positioned to benefit from this trend. The bank's strong presence in the wealth management sector, combined with its comprehensive range of services, makes it a preferred choice for many wealthy individuals. As wealth continues to grow and risk appetites improve, DBS's wealth management business is likely to see significant growth, further solidifying its position in the market. Indeed, the $3 billion Singapore dollar money laundering scandal that shook Singapore last year was a significant event. It led to a tightening of regulations and increased scrutiny by authorities on the inflow of wealth and wealthy individuals into the country. Despite this, it appears that the trend of wealth flowing into Singapore has not been deterred. This resilience can be attributed to the robust regulatory framework and the reputation of Singapore as a safe and stable financial hub. DBS's Group Executive and Group Head of Consumer Banking and Wealth Management, Sheet Se Kuhn, has expressed optimism about the bank's growth prospects. He believes that the market is on the verge of a recovery. This is because interest rates, which have been at their peak, are expected to come down. As interest rates decrease, markets typically respond positively and pick up. This is because lower interest rates make borrowing cheaper, encouraging businesses to invest and consumers to spend, which stimulates economic growth. Furthermore, the reduction in interest rates could potentially lead to an increase in the value of financial assets as they become more attractive compared to fixed interest-bearing assets. This could result in a boost for the wealth management sector as investors seek to take advantage of the potential for higher returns. Therefore, despite the challenges posed by the money laundering scandal, the outlook for wealth management in Singapore remains positive. The combination of a strong regulatory environment, a reputation for stability, and favorable market conditions continue to make Singapore an attractive destination for wealth. Based on the analysis provided, here's my analysis on how DBS's stock price is likely to fare in 2024. A few key factors suggest DBS's stock could see positive momentum. 1. Strong wealth inflows into Singapore, the city-state's political stability, low taxes, and favorable policies for family offices are attracting significant wealth inflows from Asia. This plays right into DBS's wealth management growth plans. 2. Rising global wealth and improving risk appetite, the Capgemini report highlights the rebound in global high net worth wealth and population, as well as an improving risk appetite among the wealthy. This should drive demand for DBS's wealth management services. 3. DBS's dominant position in family offices, with DBS banking over a third of Singapore's rapidly growing family office sector, it is well positioned to capitalize on this lucrative segment. 4. Robust quarterly results and earnings outlook, DBS's recent record quarterly results and expectation of surpassing last year's net profit record point to strong underlying business performance. All right, investing iguanas, that's a wrap on DBS's bold $500 billion wealth management plan. Whether you think it's too ambitious or totally achievable, one thing's for sure is Singapore's wealth management industry is booming and DBS is positioning itself to be a major player. If you found this video informative and entertaining, do me a solid and smash that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest financial insights and investing wisdom. 
Until next time, keep those investment portfolios growing and those financial goals in sight.